Hey guys, Matt, Iron Trap Garage. Today we have a very fun adventure. We're talking barn garage finds. Woo! Uh, buzzword, everybody uh, either loves it or hates it. Uh, I am addicted to finding old parts, old cars, in barns, garages, wherever. That's how this whole obsession kind of grew like it did, is I'm always hunting and looking for stuff that's been uncovered. Uh, or yet to be uncovered, uncovered by me. So there was a, a place that I went to look at, um, didn't even really post about it. A lot of times if I don't know if something's going to work out or if maybe the, the people that own the estate don't want anyone to have photos out, I don't post them. Well, uh, this place I bought a couple things. Uh, you guys might have seen in the background I've gotten uh, a real early, not real early, but a uh, early Schwinn uh, muscle bike and I uh, hung it up in the shop in the ceiling here. Well, anyways, that place had a bunch of cars. Uh, there was one car in particular that I was kind of after there because it's really neat and a sort of rare car. Uh, and I thought it would just be the most fun to pull that car out because it is a true um, entombed garage barn find type car. So the car is a 1936 Chrysler Airstream convertible sedan. Try and say that really fast three times. Uh, so it's a 36 Chrysler convertible sedan. That's what they called it. Uh, Ford and some other brands may have called it a Phaeton. Um, but that's what uh, Chrysler called it. It's a one year only car. From my little bit of research I've done, uh, there was under a thousand of these cars made. Uh, probably more like eight or nine hundred of them made in that uh, particular uh, style and they were kind of one of the top of the top Chrysler vehicles uh, of that time. They got the really fancy taillights that all the hot rodders want. Uh, they have a kind of beautiful dash, a really nice banjo steering wheel and it's just one of those cars that if you look at old photos you see kind of people of wealth driving around in them. It's almost like a parade car. Uh, really neat uh, it was kind of ahead of its time for some of the styling on it. Super, super Art Deco car, and um, I just thought it was super cool. So uh, we're going to pull the car out today. I got a phone call um, during the week, and uh, finally they were had come to a decision on the price, and they were ready to let the car go. Uh, I'm pretty much okay with the price, and I'm going to come over there, and uh, we're going to dig it out, take a look at it, and uh, hopefully be pulling it up on the trailer and dragging it home today. So let's jump in the truck. Uh, it's about close to two hours away, but it's going to be worth it, I promise you. So let's get going. Pretty decent, Jay. Is that his bike, too? That's Mother Brother's bike. Oh, okay. yeah. I'll tell you what to say. It's all uh, the same frame. Yeah, it, I like, it's not a Harley. It's uh, some other kind. Miles on it, too, right? So it was driven a little bit. I think in the three years I've owned it, I only put about 800 miles on it, if that.
Matt. Clear? Yep. We're clear up front, so we got a little more room up front. So you're all right here. Okay. So we want to rehook and pull more. They got two. It's not like a tubeless. Yep. But it's been the. Oh, it was just in in the rim from. Let's see. Holy crap! I think it's gone. It's taking yeah. air. It may blow out though. So, uh, hey, if you can get 20 pounds in there, uh, I just want to get the flatness out of the. Yeah. I'm just thinking getting it on the trailer with the fronts rolling. Yeah. It won't be bad because we can lift it with the bucket and push it on. Yeah, well, you can't go too far down the turnpike without checking, rechecking your Oh, hell yeah. <laughs> what do you got on here? Looks like some kind of That's got some air. I can't believe it. Two of them. Let's check the next one. Oh, what is it doing here? Oh, yeah. yeah. Might be more than that. But the car basically is there. 
Yeah, that's kind of what struck me, is it seemed like there was no major, major so far. I don't see anything major. Good. Wish I could find that, find that piece of hood trim. That's the, that's the one. Well, the last time it was run was in the 20s, 19 No, I think that's 51. Isn't that a 51 plate? Yeah. Now it's got air in it still. Yeah, I can pull it out there and you can just back up, pull it in here and back up to it. Whatever Matt wants to do. Yeah, that's that's fine. I think putting it on the normal way is probably the best in the long run. Let me just hit this. Just the jump jump, that's all. Jump jump jump. Uh, So just got the car home, give you guys a good look at this thing, 
Super Art Deco 36 Chrysler Airstream. Tons of stuff in the car. Uh, drive home was pretty uneventful, luckily. But uh, there's all kinds of stuff in the car, so we need to go through and see what kind of treasures we find in the trunk. Uh, the original spare is there, hidden underneath the little tray. I'll lighten this up here so you can see. All kinds of stuff um, hidden in the trunk. And inside the car, there's just parts score. And one of my favorite things on this car, steering wheel and the dash are really, really cool. Super cool. And probably one of the things that hot rodders love the most for taillights are these right here. This cool kind of like spider web taillights that came on these. Very desirable and um, I was half tempted to just buy the car just for these taillights and resell it and get a free set of taillights out of the deal. But I'm going to try and keep the car intact uh, for the most part as long as I can not lose my ass on buying it and uh, pass it on to somebody else. Uh, I will probably not take any parts off it as tempting as it is. It is a straight eight, and we'll get some shots a little later of uh, the engine. It just takes more than one hand to pull it apart. Uh, grill, really cool. Got the Chrysler wings there. And you can see how, how nice that grill is. Really, the car overall is pretty remarkably clean. Last time it was on the road was 51-52. Uh, the plate still on it. A couple little dings, whereas I think when they were pushing it around, when the state I got it from, the guy that had it, I think he might have bumped into the wall or something, but nothing too bad. Uh, has like a two-piece uh, convertible top, so this section here that's, op that's still up, that's one part of the top, and that folds down. The B pillars are actually removable on this, so you can actually, yeah, there's a little knob that you can take this B pillar out when the top's down, and then, there is a second uh, top right in here. So right here is the other top irons and that's the rest of the top that folds up to meet this section, uh, the front section of the top. But all kinds of parts, try and zoom down here so you guys can see. All kinds of trim and parts and lights and stuff down in here. Get a better look at the dash. Really, really, really cool. Excited to save this car, and uh, it was a fun experience to get this thing drug out from its tomb.